who would have thought that the rocks were boring? I mean, look at what you can see here. Just in this little area here, we've got mussels, we've got barnacles, there are limpets, there are lots of different types of algae, different types of snails. Right here in the pools, there are a whole range of different fish, all sorts of other little snails. So just on this rocky shore, we've got animals all over the place competing for space, competing for food. Let's have a look at the mussels, for example, because they're the most common ones we can see here. Mussels are filter feeders, which means that the, all they have to do is open their shells, water comes in, the water is filled with lots of tiny food organisms that they're then able to filter out and that's what they eat. And that's why they like to live in this high energy coastline where they're pounded by waves all the time. Interestingly enough, we've got male and female mussels. Ah, here we have a female. You can see the female is quite a pink color, which is quite different to the male, which is the white color one. So next time you're having a good seafood feast, have a look inside the mussels and you can work out whether you're eating a male or a female mussel. Here we've got another little snail, again related to the mussels and the octopus, hard though it is to believe. This is a little keyhole limpet. Living on this limpet, we have a little barnacle. So this barnacle has decided that this is a good place to live and you can see it cemented itself onto the shell of the limpet and it'll feed when it's in water and then when it moves out the little barnacle will close up again. You can see the limpet's actually moving quite fast. I think he's hot footing it out of here. The octopus is my favorite of all of the rocky shore animals. Unfortunately it's also a favorite animal for bait and I think that that's what's probably happened to this little guy here. Unfortunately some of his legs have been chopped off possibly being used by fishermen for bait. You can see it's got a foot that's divided into eight tentacles and those tentacles have all got suckers at the end of them and it's these suckers that it's using to help hold on to me and to move around. And you can see that as it's getting upset here it's able to change its color it's probably a little scared because this isn't where it would normally be found the nice thing is that he can actually grow his arms again so i'm just going to lift him up and take him back what i've done is i've chosen a pool that's full of mussels which the octopus likes to eat these animals are amazingly intelligent in fact in the aquarium back at SeaWorld, we've taught them to get their food out of a bottle. So they're actually able to open the bottle and find their food and pull it out. The octopus is actually related to the mussels, the oysters, and even these snails. They're all in the mollusk family or the snail family. Quite interesting that our octopus eats mussels. So we've got one snail eating another. And just think next time you settle down to a meal of snails or escargot, you're actually eating a family member of the mussels, the snails that we find on the shores, and even our octopus and our calamari, also known as squid.